loves and welcome to a brand new video i hope you guys are all doing well today so guys in today's video we actually have a brand new wig that we are actually going to try on and this wig did come from sheen as you guys know i always work with sheen like basically like monthly at this point but if you guys are not familiar with sheen sheen is a international website who sells wigs and clothes so this is how the packaging looks and the wig that i end up getting is the hd lace body wave and y'all it is so pretty so first off when you open your box your box will always come like this so it shows you like care instructions etc and then you'll um also get a wig cap inside of there as well so i have the hd lace front this is a pre-pluck wig as well and it is the glueless units i have really been into these glueless units because i feel like the glueless units lace and like parting just be so natural it's insane so this is actually the pre-pluck glueless unit hd looking so good y'all remember i told y'all that lace on these hd units and the glueless units they just hit different like <laughs> they just be so good like oh this is gonna be <gasps> This is going to be gorgeous. Now, I did get this in a 22 inch. It actually doesn't look as long as I thought it would. It looked kind of like an 18. I probably should have got a 24, but it may stretch out in the future. But this is actually the 22 inch um, wig. And also, this is a um, 180 density and it is a 6x4, which the part kind of go like a little further down, as you guys can see. So it has a 6x4 parting. And like I said, 22 inches. And this is in the natural color as well. So let's go ahead and pop this bad girl on. That's how the pre-cut looks. You can either take that off or leave it on. Also, it doesn't have any combs, but it has this strap in the inside to keep on your head. And then it has this um, little stretchy part in the back. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a skin test real quick. Let's do a skin test. Let's see how it look on the skin. Okay, so this looking this this girl, you looking good. Um, yeah, that's the skin test. Need I say more? So this is the lace. Okay, well the parting, and then this is the lace. Okay, as you guys can see, glueless, definitely glueless. Um, I would just probably, um. Like I said, especially if you're not good at cutting, y'all. If you're not good at cutting, you could just leave it just like this and be totally fine. Like, that's how much this HD lace just melts in your hair. Like, it looks so good. Oh, I can't wait to get my hair curled. That's going to be pretty. This is how the 22 looks on my back. I think it's a nice little length. I'll just take this and just kind of like put it on... But y'all, the lace looks so good. And I'll just take my hot comb through the hair. And this is just to really just push the hairline back even more. Even though it already just looks so good. Wonder Lace um, Glue. Kind of just place it on the edges a little bit. And then, yeah. And like I said, you can also just do this if you just don't want to um, place glue up under your head. Because I know sometimes the glue can be reactive to certain people's skin, such as you have sensitive skin. So, which I have sensitive skin. Um, I'm about to go ahead and fill in my part a little bit just to make the part just come alive more. Um, and I'm just going to take my same blur foundation by NYX. And just put it in a part, you know, parting space. Or, you know, just open it up. You say, just open it up. I think the hair is absolutely just voluptuous and just so pretty, okay? This is how the lace is looking. The lace parting looks. Like I said, this is the HD pre-plucked um, and pre-cut 6x4 body wave unit and like i said this is in a 22 and it's so so pretty y'all oh my gosh natural color this is definitely gonna be my everyday unit because she looks so good and actually what i want to do yeah that's what i want to do okay 
is it already layers in here okay i don't think it's layers but what i want to do is i want to cut some layers in here because i feel like layers being cut in there will look so so good like you feel me because i feel like when it's like kind of layered to your face it just makes your face look better especially when your face is kind of long because i feel like my face is kind of long anyways <laughs> But I do want to get some layers, but y'all, this unit is absolutely stunning. Shout out to Sheen for sponsoring today's video. I will have all the links to this unit below and then also Sheen's website. We love Sheen over here. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, this is a banger for real. Like, y'all see how that layers? Like, you see? Like, that's why I want to get, like, I don't think, I feel like it got a little layer in there, but it's, but like it could be more defined but yeah super cute okay guys so that is going to conclude this sheen wig review i am loving this unit i want you guys to comment and let me know what you think i will have all the links to this unit down below in the description box also i have a coupon code which is wig imani for 15 percent off so make sure you guys take advantage of that code because i have a code um and you guys can get some um money off and save some coins but like i said the hair is absolutely stunning coupon code wig imani for 15 percent off and I want to thank Shane for sponsoring today's video. Hey y'all, so we are now at the house. Um, and we are, we got a few contractors in the house. Somebody looking at the floors and then also the drywall is getting taped and mud. So I'll show you guys how the house is looking right now. Um, I'm not sure what else we're going to do in today's vlog. But I know it's a few things I want to do. Um, yeah. I think I wanna. That's all I do. I'm about to show you real quick. So. <laughs> so this is how the living room is looking right now, and um, like I said, it's basically drywall everywhere, um, and we are now getting everything um taped so this is how it's looking so far i feel like yeah so once it's drywall we got to get it painted and all that but yeah he's been working pretty fast which is really good so and then we got that and then we also did the dining room area as well and that's how it's looking right now Okay. Yeah. So. This is the tape. I was looking. And then we're basically doing a hallway right now. And then we also had did the ceiling up here. Which looks better because it had like a lot of texture or whatever. So yeah. That's what's going on right now. So, so far it looks really good. Like I said, we didn't have to do the bedrooms because the bedrooms didn't have that texture, so. But it looks really good right now. As far as the cutting and the lines and stuff, you know, looks pretty clean. As you guys can see right there. But it's so crazy because I feel like the walls look gray and it just made me want to do that gray but so I think I'm deciding to actually um change the color now you guys know that I'm I was thinking about doing the existing color that's in the house but I think what I want to do is I want I think I want to do this other color um and I'll show you guys I have like a sample of it but I think I want to do like this other color I think it'll look even better and then I just feel like it'll look a lot more fresh. So yeah, that's how that's looking. Um, and I end up getting this um, little matte black set for the faucet. And then also too, I heard one of the comments where you guys were like, "Oh, um, you should um, you should spray paint it." So I might just spray paint those. Um, I might just spray paint those faucets and stuff and then just make sure that I have like a lot of paper around so it won't get everywhere else. But I also got like these um, other black matte um, 
little pieces that go inside the um, tub as well. I could probably do that myself, but let me show y'all how it look real quick. Seen a few comments where people were like, keep the carpet, keep the carpet. I just don't wanna keep the carpet. Um, and then, oh yeah, let me see. So, what I was talking about was, let's see. Good question. For yeah. You. Mm -hmm. um.
hey y'all and welcome back so we are actually at the new house right now um and we are getting some mudding done so he's still in there working and i wanted to clean up a little bit um and i think i'm gonna try to get these shelves put up on i don't know y'all because i think the bathroom look cute like how it is i'm debating like if i want shelves or um if i want to um put pictures up oh that's what i should have grabbed my pictures mm, okay but i'm gonna show y'all what's going on right now Yep. It looks so clean though. Like, mm -hmm. I love how it's like. Yeah, that looks good. Now I see what you was talking about when you was like, the corners by the windowsill was gonna be like, finished looking. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Instead of like the the little rip off thing we yep. come out. So that's good. Mhm. Mm so yeah, that's looking real good works pretty fast um i like that he's really neat um but yeah this is how the house is looking right now hope y'all can see it's a little I'm to, um what's the name on real quick okay so um as you guys can see this is like the little dining room area and y'all i seen some real cute chairs today like i about passed out but um <laughs> they had these really cute chairs at home goods today and i'm just like this is gonna be like a nice size um dining room so if you turn this way this is actually how big it is if you're new here or if you have not actually seen the space this is actually how big the dining space is so we would definitely have enough room for a nice table like can y'all picture it like oh my god i'm so excited i'm like if we had like a circle one or a square i feel like the type of room that we have in here we can do either one and i just feel like it's gonna be a vibe i can see it now with the curtains going all the way up jesus i'm excited so much gratitude in this moment um so yeah um i'm literally just picturing like maybe like a black mat oh that'd be cute like a black mat um table with um i don't know, like some cream chairs or something i think they look really really cute but and then when you come from the kitchen this is actually how it looks from the kitchen like i said um we end up getting drywall because of the texture on the wall. And I just feel like the drywall would just make it like have like a better like look and just finish just in general. And I feel like it kind of makes the house look newer too. So I'm definitely here for that. Um, still want to get the carpet removed. Um, we still need to pick out some different flooring and or just figure out which one I want. But and then also as far as the baseboards. These baseboards are actually gonna stay over here. These are actually the original baseboards that came with the house. Um, and then I believe when the floors get installed, I have the option to get quarter rounds. So I feel like that'll you know, help it like stick more out the wall too, so. But yeah. And then I don't know if y'all remember, but it was like a super dent in this wall. And I feel like it just looks better with the drywall over it because it's not as noticeable. So that's good. And this is actually where it was. And this is also the space that I was telling you guys about where I would love to put a fireplace. Um, whether it's built in or like get one of them ones from like Lowe's, but I think it'll be cute. So yeah. Okay. Hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. 
and then this is how it looks from the living room um, as well. And then what he did was he had mudded this like arch right here, cause this wasn't easy, but he had like mudded this right here to keep the arch in there um, and stuff like that. But like I said, that's that's the first coat on there. So um, it has to have another one and then get sanded. Um, but that's one thing I loved about the home was the arches in there. So got the arches still in there looking good. And then also you guys know that this um, hallway part going inside of the hallway aisle um, actually has the arch as well. And that's how it looks. And then when I step back here, you guys can probably see. Uh, it's just such a charming little house. I just love it here. So yeah. If I didn't show you guys the hallway, um, we actually end up getting the hallway done as well. So. This is how the hallway is looking. And then also I got the ceiling done because the ceiling just had all type of patches. It just looked it, it just didn't look right. And then also we end up putting it on this wall as well. So just basically like the hallway in general. Um, this is where that light was at. And I was thinking about replacing this light while we're actually, while we actually have it off. Um, remember that little black light I said would go real cute with the bathroom with the matte black. I feel like I will put that up there. Because the one that was up there was just like a light that I didn't care for. Plus, it's silver. It's silver. So, actually, the light that was up there is right here. <laughs> this is um, this is the light that was up there, which I just feel like the type of style house that I'll have. I just really want to just get like one of them new modern ones that's like super cute with the matte black i think it'd be cute but this is actually the old one that was actually in there so yeah i want to replace that but um kitchen still looking the same we have not finished the cabinets but i love this laundry area still in love with this will always be in love with this area super cute um and then this is just like extra drywall that we have left over trash but yeah Also, I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so I had went to the store the other day, right? And I don't know what I was thinking, but I had went to the store the other day and I had got some paint samples. I had got one more paint sample. And y'all know before I had another paint sample, but this is how they look. So, first of all, okay. Well, as you guys can see, this one is just literally blending. And you, I mean, you can't even see it. Like, let me see if you can see. You can't even see it. So, this was the one, this one right here, like, if y'all can see it, it's so light, like. It's super light. <laughs> this is the new one, um, which I feel like on camera, I don't know, I might like that color. But um, this right here, this is like the new like creamy color. And then this is kind of the one that's like, like the wall already. But y'all, I can't even, the other one is blending in so quickly, but y'all can kind of, let me see, hold on, let, let, me, let me turn this down. Let me turn the, um, let me turn the um, color down and see if y'all can tell. Okay, okay. do y'all see how this is kind of like, this one is like a creamy color and then this is more like the color of the wild. But when I think about it, I kind of like both colors. Hold on, let me turn this light on. Can y'all kind of tell a little more? Let me see, let me turn this on just a little bit. Okay. So as you can see, this is like a peachy, it's, it's kind of cream, but I feel like in person it gives like, it kind of gives like a creamy, like it's like a, it's like a pink, it's like a pink um, undertone to it. And that's the only thing I don't like. And then as you got, and as you guys know, this one kind of just blends with the wall. It's already literally like disappearing in the wall. So, but I wanted something that just kind of popped, but was still light. And I feel like this is like a light color. This is actually the downy in the Valspar, and then this is like the color I got made when I took a chip off the wall and took it to low. So, let me know what y'all think about that. But, probably when I come back, y'all can probably see it. But I feel like this, the left side is just disappearing. Like, I don't care what happened, the left side is like, literally just like, going into there. But let me know what y'all think so far.